Today we are in Minneapolis, the North Loop, and we are with the Minnesota Farmers Union, believe it or not, of all things. Gary Wordish, president of the Minnesota Farmers Union with us. Gary, we're in your organization's restaurant. Tell me about it. What is it? It's called Farmer's Kitchen and Bar. And this is a project we started about three years ago when COVID hit, so and obviously it uh, came to a standstill. But the previous owner wanted to retire. And uh, she liked what we were doing, focusing on local foods and that type of stuff. So she reached out to us. And we, you know, after some discussion, I first I was hesitant of getting into the restaurant business, but uh, after we looked at the location, we looked at the value that it could bring to the organization, in far, you know, in farmers in general, right. you know, we were so many people. People are so many generations removed from the farm now; they don't know where their food necessarily comes from. So we thought it's really a good way for us, for the farmers union, to really advocate for farmers in agriculture and bring in, you know, local foods to the uh, customer's plate, right on the, you know. Right on their plate as we serve them a meal, we um, we're sourcing as much as possible direct from Minnesota farms and bring it to the restaurant and out into the consumer. So it, it's been going very well. One thing I noticed uh, walking in, you had a farmer's fresh uh, kind of case over there, and you had uh, fresh eggs that uh, uh, you bring in that uh, people can buy here in downtown Minneapolis. They can have farm fresh eggs. What well, is? You know, we we have a marketplace in the front, and we're still building that up. But yeah. It, there again, it, the fra it's locally laid eggs. They're one of our farmers' union members from northern Minnesota, and you know the people get a farm fresh product. And that's we got some number of cheeses in there too, also from uh, various Minnesota farmers and Minnesota farmers' union members. So it's really, it's really a good way to advocate for agriculture, really to showcase agriculture, show the people where their food comes from. It's truly an integrated uh, uh, system, all the way from the farmer right to the plate, right here at your restaurant. Uh, talk about the menu, uh, what, you know, I know we're going to talk to your chef in a little bit, but uh, what kind of ideas and concepts did you have as far as what kind of food you wanted to serve? Well, when he interviewed the chef and then when he hired him, I told him I really wanted, you know, growing up on the farm, I still live on a farm, you know, in, in the farm life, I wanted you to really, as a customer comes in and needs a meal, I wanted them to be like they're in their kitchen on a farm. You know, on the family farm, the kitchen is, a lot of stuff happens in the kitchen. Not only eating, but a lot of business. Right. Everything happens at the farmer's, at the farm kitchen. So I said, I really want a menu developed that brings you back to the farm. So you're at, you know, like in a farm kitchen. And uh, Chef has done an exceptional job on that. Very good. And how's the response been from, uh, I noticed there's a lot of lofts, a lot of apartments in this immediate area. The Guthrie Theater is literally next door. Uh, how's the response from the community been? Oh, it's really been good. As you know, as we opened, when it first opened, and, and even now, we've had a lot of people living in this area that come and said, this is what we've been wanting. So it's really been good. We're, we're in a good location. The Guthrie Theater is going, so we got a big crowd there right alongside the river so you got a lot of traffic there and uh, walking traffic and you know obviously the winter will be coming but but there's a lot of high-rise apartments in this immediate area so it's like we're a restaurant like within a little city so and uh, as the traffic come this morning i parked in the parking ramp and it was it was relatively full you go back in the early part of the summer there was very few in there so the downtown is starting to come back you know we're not we're not you know the place where our location it's a very safe neighborhood and uh, it's, it's uh, been well received. You know, I have had a number of customers come in here, and I had one person the other night I happened to stop in, and he said he's here about four or five times a night, and he said, this is just fantastic. So. And finally, Gary, uh, we're going to be talking to your chef in just a minute or two, but wanted to find out from you if uh, your members and other farmers from around the state that are seeing this on linderfarmnetwork.com are interested in the restaurant. Is there anywhere on the web that they can go, maybe see some pictures or see the menu and learn a little bit more about what you're doing? Yeah, it is. We do have a, we do have a website, Farmer's Kitchen and Bar. So you can go on the website. We have the menu up on there and uh, kind of gives a little story, but that's on there in the menu. The menu will be gradually changing over time, too. So. And, folks, I would say that uh, if you get in here, just tell them you know Gary Wordish, and it uh, might help you get a real good table right here at uh, the facility. Gary, this is just an outstanding thing that your organization has taken on, and uh, uh, great to be here today. Well, it is. You know, really, it's really a way to advocate for agriculture and adv advocate for the family farmer. And, yep. you know, on the walls, we got various history pieces up to, from the organization, but it's... Uh, it's important to get back to our roots, you know, and when, you know, when our country was formed, you know, at one time, you know, the vast majority of the people living 
in the United States, not only in Minnesota, we're directly tied to a farm, you know, but granted we have less, you know, right now we have less than 2% of the population as farmers, but farmer, farming still drives about approximately 30% of the economy. It really does, and uh, uh, good to see what you're doing here and what you're doing on behalf of Minnesota farmers all year long. Gary Wordish, president of Minnesota Farmers Union, with us as we learn more about their restaurant here in downtown Minneapolis. We're going to be talking to their chef next. We continue here in downtown Minneapolis at the Minnesota Farmers Union restaurant. Chris Coach is with us, and uh, Chris, you are the executive chef here, which means you're the guy that came up with the menu and uh, keeps things going day by day and uh, work, working for Minnesota farmers. I, I do, yeah. That's It's been my great pleasure to work with uh, the local farmers, and it's just such a treat to get to call everybody, and I feel like I'm right there in the kitchen sometimes when I call them, and they're having a cup of coffee, and I'm like, what? You know, what? when do I need to get those beets? When are they coming out of the field? How's the rain? You know, you guys harvesting? It's just such a great connection connection to have with all the all the local farmers that we were working with. And I, I noticed again I was talking with Gary about it. You are selling fresh eggs that come off of a Minnesota Farmers Union members farm yep, and, yep. and a number of other things. You're expanding that. Yes. Uh, this is truly uh, localized food at its best. It really is. It's 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 been such a treat to like I said to, to just to be able to make those connections with all the farmers that we've been working with and to work with the MFU members and to build those relationships from the ground up. And we got to do some great farm tours this spring that really kind of drove it home how hard everyone's working to bring this stuff to us. What did you? What kind of uh, influence did you have in making the menu up? Um, so I worked with the consulting chef, Patrick Weber, and we really just wanted to go with fresh local ingredients. And I kind of, it's kind of corny, but I love to say, you know, something that you would remind yourself of when you walk into grandma's house and those smells and those down home cooked meals that you get out as a kid. As we're standing here, they're cooking behind us. Uh, yeah. I do smell some spices and some nutmeg, I think, uh, yeah, well, uh, very that much. Season. Yeah, it's that season. You know, we, we had this beautiful, uh, it was like a 25 pound uh, candy roasting squash that I got from Prairie Hollow. And I just roasted the thing whole, and it was just like a big egg when it cracked open, and I scooped out all the flesh and made a wonderful soup and a great puree for our seasonal latte. Great. And uh, um, now your hours, uh, talk about that. And You know, farmers and other people listening to this around yeah. the state yes. are in uh, Minneapolis here in the North Loop, sure. uh, right next to the Guthrie. Yeah. Uh, great place to come. Yeah, great place to come. We're open at 7.30 for coffee and pastries, and then at 8 o'clock we open up for the hot breakfast. And we serve breakfast till 11. After 11, we go into lunch. We serve lunch to um, kind of our all-day menu until 5 o'clock. And then at 5 o'clock, we start with more of our heartier meals and our suppers. Exciting. Well, we invite folks uh, here. Again, what's your address and uh, how can folks find uh, more information? Put it, put it beyond the spot. There. We're, we're right here backed up next to by the Guthrie and the, and the River and West River Parkway, but we're right off of... Uh, uh, 750 South 2nd Street in Minneapolis. <laughs> Very good. It's the Farmer's Kitchen and Bar uh, from the Minnesota Farmer's Union. Uh, they have it here and uh, invite you to come in. Uh, how many days a week you open? We're open five days a week, uh, Wednesday through Sunday. Very good. Come Chris. <laughs> Thanks for being with us and uh, letting us know about a very creative way of bringing more agriculture to downtown Minneapolis.